Hi, my name is Giorgio Ravicavoli. I'm the chef and owner of Eating House Restaurant in Coral Gables, Florida. Today we're gonna make a few simple recipes using one of my favorite ingredients, olives from Spain. Now when thinking about Spanish olives, naturally the first thing that comes to mind are tapas. Tapas are a great, great party dish, really, really versatile, really easy, and you can really make them your own. Today we're gonna make a mix of four different Spanish olives, being the green, the manzanillas, the cordal, and the black really incorporating all the different flavors and textures that each olive really pronounces and brings. So to start our recipe, we're gonna start off with just grating some garlic. What you wanna do is you can do this in a bowl or in the exact same jar that you're gonna serve them in. The beauty of this recipe is that we're gonna make everything in this jar and serve it in this jar, keep it in the jar, and it's gonna be, the longer it stays in the fridge, the better these are gonna be. So, a little bit of grated garlic, and then we're gonna also grate in with that same grater, a little bit of lemon peel. So what you want to do with the lemon is not only are we going to use the peel from it for the flavor, but we're also going to use some of the juice for the acidity. So you're going to take that lemon and just cut it in half and we're going to incorporate a little bit of lemon juice in there. So this is basically starting like a vinaigrette to dress the olives in. So to this we're going to add a little bit of oregano, some crushed red pepper, and bay leaves. I'm gonna take them, you can break them in half so it makes it a little bit easier. Now what we're gonna to add to these olives, which aren't exactly the most common ingredient, is a little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar is gonna really help balance out the brininess and the saltiness and the acidity that's in this dish. And it's, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get all the notes on the tongue. So you'll get bitter aspects, you'll get some salty and some sweet, which is really gonna make a nice all around dish. To that we're gonna add two different types of vinegar. A little bit of sherry vinegar and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Balsamic really helps balance out the real intensity of the sherry. And a little bit of good Spanish olive oil into that. We are gonna go ahead and use four different types of Spanish olives today. We're gonna to use the Gordal olive, which is really nice and meaty. It's gonna have a great texture to it. So next, we're gonna add some Manzanilla olives for some nice smokiness in the dish. These are some really beautiful pitted green olives, which are stuffed with pimentos, which is just another layer of flavor which we can bring into our olives. And we're gonna finish off with some really beautiful ripe black olives. So the next step are about as easy as it gets. What you wanna do is you wanna cover your jar and give the Spanish olives a good shake. Make sure that they all get marinated and get that beautiful flavor you put in there. You wanna put them in the fridge for say three to four days. The longer they sit, the better they're gonna be. And take them out whenever you have some unexpected guests show up, friends and family. These marinated Spanish olives are a really, really simple, sophisticated dish that can be made in no time. And again, the beauty of them is the longer they sit, the better they are. So let them sit for a week or two or three even, they're just gonna continue to get better. Enjoy, buen provecho.